Okay then lads, we are at Anna's house. There's just been a break in. Anna's dad Sam has just contacted us and we're here to find out what's happened. I think they broke in to either get information about Anna or to possibly kill her. Alright, let's go. <sighs> Didn't think I'd see it again. Not looking forward to stepping back inside. He had to get a new one after the accident. Must have been very expensive. That looks like the type of vans out of Grand Theft Auto 3. Exactly the same. It's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. I'm at the doctor's more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. Joe could help. I want to say doctors are important. Or Joe could help. What do you think? I'm going to keep him out of it. I want to say doctors are important. I'm going to have to side with Anna on this one. Can't miss appointments. Just because I'm an old man in a wheelchair, you two think you can push me around. <laughs> Dad, I love you. And I love that you want to protect me. But please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house. Your rules. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Though before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong, but she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. I'm gonna have to tell him. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe, I don't know. Should She's I... all I have left. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally could yeah. say no to a desperate father. All it can say is you'll try your best. I'm gonna promise. I'm gonna promise, mate. I still can't hide anything from you. Sam, don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you on this. I'm not some kid. Listen, I know, I know she's going on like she's not some kid, but mate, there's somebody going around killing people. Her dad does need to know because he's got to keep her safe. At least if he knows there's something bad going on, that's another person who we've got as evidence. You know what I mean? But it's also possibly another person we've put in danger. I think we've made the right choice. I know she didn't want us to involve the father, but fucking hell, it's her father. He wants to keep his daughter safe. I'm happy with my choice. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. I'm heading inside. See how bad it is. <laughs> just, he just wheeled himself away without maybe a word. Get in there eventually. Well, maybe I should look around the property first. Yeah, what's this? Could be rubber. Mud and grass make it hard to tell. All right, let's have a quick shifty eye here. See what we can see. Well, there's not much going on over here. I used to follow it down to the shack every other week for Fishing Sunday. It could have come from there. Wheelchair ramp after his accident. Red Baron, not it's a plane. Bugs. She probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. 
Ah, Joan, that's right. It's an old person's name. That's what the, the, the little girl's called. My goddaughter, Joan. It was great to come back from work, sit down, and read until the sun went down. Yeah, these things are so cool. Like, uh, I think it's mainly an American thing. We don't really have stuff like this in the UK. There's not enough land for everybody to have one of these in their back garden. Anna and I spend our nights out here trying to find all the constellations. Oh, this guy's causing himself a whole lot of pain. No traces to recover from here. Planted within the last year, doing well, Nick has his green thumb. Pain bucket. Yeah, we're not seeing any traces, or if, we, if there are any, I'm not fucking seeing. Oh, what's this? Mind palace. And I never got rid of this sign. Let's have a look. I think the happiest I ever saw Anna was the day she bought this place. I love this area. It just looks so amazing. It's amazing. Everyone to know this house is sold. You're mine. I own you now. I think she looks good in purple. She looks like a Cadbury's. Years before it's paid off, but it's mine. Cadbury's chocolate. When can I start moving my own stuff in? After you finish carrying all my stuff in. Sure, but that means I get to choose which side of the bed I'm sleeping on. What? No. You're gonna sleep on the side closest to the door. My last makes that? me do that as well. It's stupid. So if someone breaks in, you can fight them off. No, no. So if someone can break in, you get killed first. <laughs> That's why. Honestly, I prefer I prefer being next to the window because I can open the window and stay cold all night. So instead, what I've got to do is I've got to have my last next to the window in me near the the door, which means I'm hot through the night. And she's cold. And she doesn't even like being in cold. So that means she wants to cuddle into me, making me twice as hot. That's that's the that's the life of suffering a man leads. And maybe because I like being near the window. Somehow I feel like it's entirely the second thing and not at all the first. <laughs> we can talk about all this after my stuff's inside. But all your stuff's so heavy. Which is why I need your help. Don't slack, Sam. <laughs> this house isn't going to decorate itself. And I want you to be part of that. It's always that little thing in it. I want you to be part of it just means I want you to do it for me. Garden shed is in fact intact. Well, I haven't seen any tracks. It's not a success. Let's just leave. Let's leave it to it. Right, I think that's about it. Come on, let's just go in the front door. Shattered glass. This is how whoever it was broke into the house. Ah, okay. I'm dying to know who it is. I still think it's a cop of me. I really do. But I don't know the motive. Because he never lost his job, did he? I, as much as the doctor's creepy, he never really lost anything, did he? Anna is not well. 
this time at least try to be there for her? I agree. I agree. say no. She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Just be there? Something. Anything. It's the thought. The effort. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. <laughs> but I guess I've heard worse ideas. She kept the drinks in the kitchen in one of the pantries. We'll have to get her a drink, can't I just talk no we 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 don't have a choice. We have to get her a drink. Let's do it quick. Oh look my all that ego is just sitting there, is he? In the pantry. I don't know what a fucking pantry is. Oh, found it. She normally keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, so Oh, my stuff. Things have changed around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? No. Oh, shit. So we can't even look at it. Oh, there we go. Uh, here's where she keeps the drinks. Let's get her a chocolate drink because it's the best. I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to decide. On the bright side, I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Thanks. I love chocolate milk. It's it's just phenomenal. Did have I got have I now got that? Is he carrying that or has he just put it in his pants? Has he just put chocolate milk down his pants? Mate. Chocolate helps everyone feel better. That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already Gone to look around and I don't know, think. This is just. This is just so fucked. Nick, my house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this like the worst coincidence? Or is it related to Nick's death? Did his murderer break into my house? God. I can't help but being give her the drink. Give her the drink. Who is hard choice? Here, have a drink. It'll help. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's helping a bit. We've calmed her down, she doesn't want to talk anymore, so let's do some investigation. Medical bills. Anna has to be helping her dad out with these. I'm not sure it's enough. Shit. What's Anna this? Anna would pace around the house for hours, then sit down and write her articles in one go. Right, that's mine palaces, bad boy. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. I am not your mom, you know.
Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. He is being a bit of a dick, like. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. Oh, he was an asshole. Why did he not even acknowledge her? That is a dick. Yeah, I, that would really annoy me if I'd made someone tea. I don't mind if they're, they're late for it, but if they didn't even acknowledge it, or even like, yeah, mate, I'll be, I'll be five minutes. Cheesy action movies, dark thrillers, and human rights. The melting pot of Anna. What disappeared? The placeholder. Anna always wanted to take me to concerts. They were just never my thing. Yeah, I'm not a fan of concerts either. I'd rather just put the music on. Fucking, why would I want to go to a concert with loads of horrible, hideous people? I'll just listen to it in the comfort of my own home. Right, let's find some actual evidence. There was some in here. Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? Hmm. Even when he messed up, Nick always found the right words. I'm sorry about yesterday, you're right. I've been distant. Things have been pretty messy at work lately. You don't have to forgive me, but if you'd like to invite me to a concert, I'll just leave these two here. Also, you bought our tickets. There might be some pepperoni rolls in the fridge. Oh, that's the thing they've got in common. Oh, it was for the placeholders as well. Band. Smooth as always, Nick. $75 a ticket? Fuck that. That's why I don't go to concerts. Jesus. Good lad. He is a good lad, our guy. Deep down, I think he is. Finally, there. We've shone some light on the situation, but I don't know how that helps. We're going upstairs. As big as this house looks from the inside, it's not that big inside. I know you want to help her by finding out what happened. Right now, though? Stay focused on Anna. She needs to know she's not alone. I don't agree. Oh, I don't think we've got a choice. Hey, are you feeling better? Yeah. Thank you, Sam. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah. I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. Fucking hell, I'm not a counselor, mate. It hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. It's going to be alright. It's going to be okay. I'm not as sure as you sound. Nick's dead. My house is trashed. Well, you did sound a bit hollow. This whole thing is a mess. But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in. It was nice. But lately, he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights. At the bar or the fishing shack, come home late, refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. Oh, cheers. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Don't be too harsh on her. I'm not. We're both to blame. I deserved that. 
I did deserve that to be fair, like. You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house, it's... It's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you... You understand why I said no, right? Yeah, because the relationship was shit. I didn't listen to you at all. You didn't want to ring. You told me before. I thought it was what you're supposed to do. I thought maybe it'd save us. That's a nice thought. I feel like you're listening now. And I thank you for that. You know? It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone, to truly share my life, to make compromises and all that. It wasn't your fault, I don't think it was. If you're getting ignored in a relationship, then it's just fucking getting it. It wasn't your fault that Nick closed himself off. No one makes someone distant, especially someone like Nick. He must have been on his side. He was dealing with something dark. I know that's why I close people off. I never spoke to Nick again after leaving town. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're going to find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? Agreed. Yeah, I mean... Of course. I want to know who killed Nick as much as you do. Let's get the asshole who did this behind bars. It's the only thing we can do for Nick now. I just keep bouncing back from terrified to angry. That is very understandable. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Hmm. Take your time. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Dry your eyes and bring up the anger. Thanks. It's Sam. what we need. Anger is one of the best fuels. It's 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 unbelievable. Right, come on, baby. Maybe, maybe this guy broke into Sniffer Knickers. I mean, that's not what I would do or anything, but yeah, yeah, would. Oh, he broke a picture. Joe's first birthday after the accident. I remember taking this photo. God, seeing it like this. It's not what Anna needed. The door there. Before we enter any doors, let's just check the ones that are open. It looks like Joan's using this room now. Anna must have been letting her use it when she stayed over. Oh, okay. Oh, so they still had like little sleepovers and stuff. That's cool. Got the A, corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. Mr. Unicorn. Mr. Unicorny. Well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. Mind palace this bad boy. Come on, work, you piece of junk. Come on, work, you piece of junk. You know you're awake. No, I'm not. Then how are you talking? I'm a celebrated sleep talker. Come on, get up. I need your help. Did you try?
try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. I have tried that. What a dick. If I don't get this done by noon, Walter won't run the article. What do I do? Okay, okay. Let me see it. Thank you. It just won't respond to anything. Throw it. Throw it across the room. Do you want a back rub while you work? Oh, fuck yeah. As your hero, it's the least you could do. I'll do more than that, my white knight. Damn. Oh, you will, my princess of the typefaces. Of course. Oh, when shit. You fix it. Oh, but I would have that fixed in a heartbeat. I'll be getting piped off to no end. Oh, that's a shame, that. This guy's coming home and reminiscing about the times I had sex. There's just nothing more devastating. Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? Not too sure about that. He, he, did, he did the bathroom as well. Did he take a big shit? He didn't. But that's the... That would be the sign of a true legend. Taking a big shit in somebody else's toilet. Watch your back. As if her week wasn't bad enough already. I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. True. Nick was very moved in. His and her toothbrushes. What the fuck's going on here? Is this their bedroom? It's so dark in here. I think the killer's still here. Well, I don't know if it's the killer. It might be the killer. And our stuff is still there. This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. I asked Anna what this was once, and she laughed at me. I still don't know what it is. It looks a shit. What's in this cupboard? I bet you somebody's in this cupboard. There's no one in this cupboard. Is this... Oh, the laptop. I guess Anna must have left it on. But she had her laptop with her. Is this what? Nick's? Oh. <gasps> Oh shit! Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? Shit! I fucking knew it! Mate behind you! Shit, 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 shit! Uh, ah. Oh, because we didn't open that door. Oh, shit. How are you, mate? Just get up. Use your adrenaline. Sam. Sam. Who was that? Sam. Are you okay? Uh, I think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird, loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? Find Nick's backup files. We need Nick's backups, if he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer? Did he have anywhere besides here and the basswood jungle he kept things? No. No, I don't I don't think so. I I don't. Actually, over the last few months, remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns. Yeah. You know, I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. Said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Hello? 
Your father called, said there'd been a break-in. Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll hmm. arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. Sorry, I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go. Go on, son. Nice narrow escape. Ooh. The fishing shack, eh? For oh. do, do you think the the unknown burglar knows where this is? Maybe not. I'm, oh. I just don't know who it is. I hope they don't pull a... Oh, this is some random guy that you've never seen before is the, the burglar and killer. I hope they don't do that. I hope it's somebody that we know. Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? Aye, Nick's a little... Who's been having a campfire with? I was going to say Nick's a little uh, secretive fellow. I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. Oh, I could really do with a marshmallow just about right about now. Actually, anyways, I'm, 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 I'm hungry. I'm probably going to have some crumpets of toast. Yes, please. I like to fish. You know, fishing's a lot like life. Practice, patience, and perseverance hooks you the big one. Does it though? Dad, not everything is a life lesson. <laughs> Actually, I was talking to Muley here. Oh, that's fine. He's got a lot to learn. You know, I'm better at fishing and life than you are. <laughs> Whatever you say, Muley. Oh, worms are so cute. You sure are, bud. Can you hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. Um, I, I uh, I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, a uh, bug. Just hand them over, and I'll bait it. No, I'd be an accomplice then. <laughs> don't worry about it. The point of fishing isn't to catch anything, anyways. The worm's cute. It's like the least cute thing. More like an amoeba. Oh, it's it's getting foggy. This is a uh, creepy. This looks like something you see in um, Fallout Four, filled with ghouls. Let's check the perimeter first, or or not. Bug. Muley. How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. What the fuck? Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Why? Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. Is everything okay at home? Or should I, you should tell your mom. I'll say you should tell your mom if you want to do anything first. Ooh, it's a tricky one. In this situation, I'd probably say, is everything okay at home? I'd treat her like an eagle. Is there something wrong with your mom? No, I'm running away because things are so great. <laughs> Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down, think of the common good. She doesn't do anything, just... 
sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Both of them said Look, something about the mother, though. I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. You're a fucking kid, mate. There's nothing for me here. Don't make the mistakes I made. Simple as that. Leaving is going to hurt the people you care about the most. The way I left was selfish. You're not selfish. The Joan I knew couldn't even hurt a worm. Let alone her own mother. Nice. I... It's not like I want to hurt her. She just works all the time and then she's too out of it. And never listens to me. I think I'm done depending on others. My dad I could rely on. But he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. I listened. I'm fucking investigating it, mate. I'm investigating. I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. I know. People at the wake got upset at you over it. Yeah. They did not like me bringing that up. But Nick was my friend. I want to know what happened to him. I care about that, but I also care about keeping you safe. I know you're doing your best. It's just this town, you know? It just feels like it grinds you down. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think, not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after, in 10 years. Something with insects. Did she say she wanted to be a, an entomologist? You like insects? How about someone who studies them? Would you like to be an entomologist? Go around the world, collecting bugs. Yeah. You remember? I remembered. Yeah, bugs are cool. That does sound fun. You can leave Basswood that way, but you can't do it without finishing school. It won't be easy, but it's better than just wandering out in the dark. Focus yourself on your goals. I know your father would be proud of that. Look, I'm going to find out what really happened to him, okay? And you and I, we'll figure this out. About what's next for you, about your mom, life. I need you to trust me. I need you to give me some more time. Well done, mate. Well a few done. Days. You have a few days. Do you want me to drive you back home? No, it's fine. I need to take my bike back anyway. I'll see you later. All right? You've got such a scowl. I'm going to hold you to that. Bitch, before you go anywhere, you need to fix your face. You'll never get anywhere in life with a face like that. Town. But at least we've stopped Let's her from skipping town. Kept anything hidden out here, Nick? What's in this bag? He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. And we steal her bag so she can't go anywhere. Bug never was the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. Well, this guy, maybe it's under the floorboards? I'm not sure. Hunting trophy? This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Hmm. That's everything Nick wanted to keep away from Joan. Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Right. Possible hiding spot. Let's have a look. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. Not in the... The moose antlers? No? Hmm. 
Nothing here. Probably too high and hard to get at anyway. No keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay hidden. Bro, maybe it's outside. Fish. Oh, look at this! There used to be a calendar right here. Why'd he take it down? I thought it was a hole in the wall. We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? The thing is, though, once you get once you get the taste for blood, it's hard to what's the word I'm looking for? Sort of it, thatcher it. Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts, <laughs> clearly Bug was there too. Joan always liked bugs. Let's check the fish. Got it. I have got the key. Or maybe not. <laughs> what a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. Man, bugs certainly grew up faster than I realized. She's gotten pretty mature now. Come on then. Give me something good. Need some hard drive, some backups, some of the good shit. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns. But never at home, and always locked up. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. One small community looks out for those that fall through the cracks by Anna Miller. I'm interviewing Tyler, a man of few words in his mid-twenties and heavily tattooed about a place he lives and why he's there. It's cold enough that I regret not bringing a second jacket. His hands, however, are not shaking because of the cold. This is his seventh relapse. On his second relapse, he lost his girlfriend. On the fourth, his family, the one after that, he attempted to rob his parents' home. But was instead beaten nearly to death by his father. Oh my god, I know what's happened. I know what's happening. This guy, and as interviewing, this Tyler, has relapsed. He's lost everything in his life. I bet he's latched onto Anna, and that's why everybody around Anna is dying. And that's T, Tyler. I'm sure there was a T in the, the messages, hmm? Okay, so... It's not like I wanted to hurt them. I just needed money and I felt so bad that... I thought I was dying. My parents' place was the only place I knew for sure there was some crap I could sell. Dad caught me. I tried to talk to him but he whooped my ass. Beat me with a lamp. I don't blame him. I didn't fight back. I was too ashamed. I needed a whooping. I still need a whooping. Okay, fucking hell. There's so much to read. Yeah, maybe the cove is... I think it might be somebody with a... She might have a fatal attraction on her hands. That's another possible scenario. Drugs. Yeah. A prescription for opioids with Kathy's name on it? Kathy. That's the These wife. Are pretty heavy-duty painkillers. Very addictive. They'll be prescribed because she got a bad back. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Oh, there's the calendar. It has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. D wants to meet. What's this? Remember Looks what? Like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? Remember Caterpillar. Yellow up, blue left. Oh, that's, that doesn't relate to what's on a control pad. Um. 
Right, hold on. Just out of curiosity, let me just take a picture of this screen. Right, I've took a picture, so if we need that in the future, I've got it. All right. I think I went through everything here. That definitely everything. Oh, so these are things I can just look at. Okay, there's going to be more clues to find. Let's go outside. Now, when that person ran away from the, you know, the burglar, when he ran away, she said she heard a big engine. Do you think it was a boat? Then again, the river did look quite small. Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. Now, this record is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. <laughs> the best way. It's a bench. I thought it was a, a, a chest. Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him. Grew up with him. Even if you don't know them, they know you. Nick, Dennis, gone. A stone cold killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated. Make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. Oh, he's fucked off. That's hilarious. You're talking about being alone and then they, this conscience just went, yep, you are. Well, there's got to be something else we can find. This is either new or Nick was really distracted. He usually fixed everything. Nothing. Hmm. Wait there, what else can we have we not looked at? This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Maybe we're missing something here. If Dee met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. I've still got to search this shack apparently. Remember Caterpillar? That next note mentioned a caterpillar. Is the caterpillar. I think I just found it. There it is. Next note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. So it's So if we're going from left to right, it is Hold on. Let's look at the picture. It's Right, down, left, right, down, left, right, up, right, down, left, right, up. Oh, now we can inspect that. Fuck me. 
See what I mean about these things? I would have inspected that that's the first thing I looked at. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important right down. you had it locked up? Right down, left, right up. It's gonna be for the lock in it. Can, I, can we look at it? Unlock. Right. Down. Left. Right. Up. Oh, I'm Let's a beast. Oh, let's have a look. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. Really? That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. <laughs> drug sample? Opioids. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? What the hell has you been into? Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Oh, shit. These are the files. Okay. We're going to probably have to use the information on the cove. All right, let's have a look. Let's start left to right. Richard, early 30s, twitchy even when sober, high strung and obviously disliked by the Cove. Asked not to be named in Anna's article because of his father who runs a shipping company. Smarter than he looks, as dumb as he, or as dumb as he acts. Still hard to say both. Still using yes. Who is the dealer? Tyler, Lynette, Junior, Kayla, Dickie. Richard is Dickie. It's a nickname. Dickie sold drugs to Tyler. Find out who the supplier is. Mid-20, sees himself as the Cove's protector, very defensive of Lynette. His interview with Anna was heartbreaking. He was a bad off, so bad in fact that I was legitimately surprised to find him alive the next time I visited the Cove. He certainly would have been the first member of the group to be claimed by an OD in the middle of the night. Very aggressive, been out of jail most of his life, usually for assault. Don't antagonise, clean since the interview. Where did he get his drugs? Dicky. Keeps asking about Anna. Into cooking. Interviewed by Anna but didn't make it into the article. Late 30s, not personable, X minor. X minor. That's the fucker here. Junior. JR. Has been living on the road, working whenever he can as a handyman. And when he came to Basswood, a minor, after the mine closed, he was arrested for drug possession, staying at the cove now that he's out. Didn't have anywhere else to go. If to himself, trying to get clean with his ongoing process. From the Midwest, Michigan. Took up smoking, trying to replace other habits with less bad ones. Hasn't worked. AR, Justin Reynolds. Collects hubcaps. Huh. Has a Winchester in his truck. Truck? He used to live in his truck. Rolls his own cigarettes, taught me how. Still uses occasionally. Loves camo. Fuck. Let's read. Remember, one of these didn't appear in the article. Tyler. Um. I just needed money and I felt so bad. Lynette. So, hmm. I mean, this guy does keep asking about Anna, but I don't know the answer. But wait, let's let's read something else. What? The calendar's D. Dicky, it's definitely him then. Obviously, D. 
I'm here to meet D, which is Dicky. Yeah, and also I was just looking at the picture there. This guy looks like he's got a bald head. The guy who did it looked like he's possibly bald. Dicky, yeah. Very defensive of Lynette. Don't antagonize. When he gets to D, Dicky keeps asking about Anna. Then again, da -da -da -da. oh, but then again, look the hat, the camo hat. We that was at the bar, wasn't it? Wouldn't have made a difference. Wouldn't have made a difference. I don't, I don't think that's relevant. Yeah. Dicky sold drugs to Tyler. Right, I'm picking this one. I think it's this guy. It doesn't match. Nothing suggests that this is D. I, I forgot. You can't make a difference. I, well, other, I think it's got to be this guy. The guy that didn't appear in the article. That's why I think you can get away, and that's possibly why the hat. I don't think this is D either. What the fuck is D then? This guy? Oh yeah, because Richard is Dicky. What? What? I don't know, I, no, lads, I've got a fucking clue. It says here, right? Well, obviously, we, we know it's this one because it's process of elimination. You can't get things wrong in this game, but... Dicky. Richard is Dicky. It's a nickname, but this guy's called Richard. So what? He's Tyler. Why did that say Dicky? I don't know. I, 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 I can't understand the fucking writing in this. Right, let's just pick this. Richard, a.k.a. Dickie, a.k.a. D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. So that's oh, he's going to be behind us. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dickie. Probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. Dickie set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, The Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. Best finally left. Did you find anything from the fish spot? Yes. Do you know where The Cove is? It's a little commune thing on the outskirts of town, not big on outsiders. Let's go. I'll arrive soon. Let's say let's go. I'm taking her with us. I need you to take me there. Might be a mistake, but the middle guy is protective over Anna, so that could work in our favour. We definitely need to take her because we'll get answers because she's liked. Although we're putting her in danger, it's going to give us the best shot. I do kind of like how you can't get things wrong in this. But it just means you could brute force your way through the game. There's no actual skill involved. I would have completely fucked. If this was a playthrough where you could get it wrong, I would have completely fucked up. Because I picked both of well, to be honest. I I thought it was the two ones on the right, mainly because I didn't understand the writing. I didn't understand why the middle one had Dickie wrote on it. Was it because Dickie wrote that letter? I don't know. No idea. Right, what we'll do is... We'll call it an episode here. 
because I've just noticed the game saved. And when we come back, we're gonna go to the cove and we're gonna find out more about this dicky character, aka Richard, aka smash me in the back of the head with a brick. <laughs> okay, lads. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one.